Yeah, it appears I'm making a video. Yeah, <clears throat> right at night again. So another draft physics video presentation, and we're just going to, you know, just the troll stuff. So I might as well just totally title it that. And AB Science is just a troll also. He's just so full of shit. Um, he can't back up anything he says, any of his assertions, his innuendo, his implications. He's unwilling to debunk a single thing I have actually said, okay, with actual evidence. Um, he can't prove me wrong about a fucking thing, okay? That's just the truth. And certainly he can't prove the substance of the things I've argued wrong. And what I can do is prove that they are wrong, in fact, and they are unwilling to admit that they're wrong, that they have um, preposterously exaggerated their evidence. Their evidence sucks, they're just a religion, and they're making it so damn clear. I'm giving the opportunity to show the evidence, and they're proving to you, right in front of you, they're showing you how they don't have any, because they're unwilling to show any of it to us. Okay. <clears throat> so, this thread started by, um, you know, whatever, Dino, uh, the malcontent. <clears throat> you know, but anyway... So so he, so this asshole says, why don't you post a video of you promoting curved space, I mean, curved screen over flat screen, which is dated earlier than Distinti. So the irony is, is the cowboy troll, there might be there's more than one troll here, unfortunately. And again, it really doesn't matter. Suing one person doesn't add any more real trouble to sue two or three or four. So just know that, imbeciles. That someday you're going to have to explain to a judge why you were actually told by me that you're violating my rights. You're violating a law that actually exists. You're not allowed to lie about other people. It's against the law, assholes. Okay. And you're going to be held accountable someday. And so just don't complain when that day comes. All right. Just don't be a little whiny bitch. Okay. Because you asked me to do it. You begged me to do it. All right, <clears throat> a video of you promoting uh, the curved screen. So the irony is the other troll came up with like six videos. You know, 2017, 2015, you know, they're all over the place. So I've talked about it a lot of times. I didn't even remember talking about it a lot of times, but I did. So your lie is done. So, and he, he says that you know, he, he would apologize. There's no apology. There's no retractions. There's no nothing. Um, and so this idiot says, uh, whatever, docsbin.com, merely having videos from the past still doesn't prove that he doesn't plagiarize the con. He didn't plagiarize the concept. I have no obligation to prove my innocence. You're the one who has to have an obligation to prove my guilt, you fucking idiot. You can't say something about somebody unless you have evidence and reason to believe. Otherwise, it's slander, you stupid ass. <laughs> Fuck. And as I have happened to live my life, I happen to know there's no way you could have any evidence. So I'm purely confident I win because I lived my life and I know where I did all of this stuff. And the irony is I did most of it in public, you stupid fuck. I've made all these videos publicly for 10 years. All the modifications, all the changes, all the stuff is right here in front of everybody, you stupid ass. It's just really retarded to say I stole anything from anyone. Ugh, so fucking stupid. Anyway, he's provably plagiarized RN's smarts, benevolent world explorer thought experiment. Lies, lies, lies. I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> so again, another lie that you're not going to take any accountability for. You're a scummy little liar. I'm pointing it out to you. You're, you're violating the law. You're doing it right in front of everybody, you dumb fuck. Ugh. All right. As well as choice passages from uh, D Dawkins' selfish gene. Another lie. I mean, it's just a lie. Okay? I mean, I haven't used Dawkins' rhetoric. I've changed his rhetoric to be more precise and more accurate because actually Dawkins doesn't have a fucking clue. Dawkins is an imbecile. He can't even figure out that other living things on this planet are sentient and can be dreadfully harmed. He doesn't even understand that concept. He's such a loop-de-doo. 
Anyway, <clears throat> I even think I can prove he lifted his particle gravity idea from a Nature article in the 70s. Until you can prove it, you can't assert it, you stupid fuck. Okay, and you'll never prove any of this crap. The accusation is vague and misdirected and insane. If, I, if somebody talked about round wheels... Do you think they have to cite the first person who talked about round wheels? It just doesn't make any sense. You're a retard. And you're playing a dangerous game being a liar on the internet. Because you can be held accountable. It can happen. I've sued before, asshole. So again, don't complain. When the hammer falls, no whining, please. Because you've asked me to do it. Ugh. Pathetic. All right, so we'll go to the comment section on. <sighs> you know, I can only call him an asshole. A B science. Um, you know, because he can't. You know, he can't. He, you know, has just no clue what's going on here. That these are trolls making comments, and he's engaging in them as if they're people that have some merit. He's that silly. But anyway. All right, so we did the, uh, uh, you're wasting your time. Okay, so in this video, Gary, Gary borrowed, blah, blah, blah. So it was posted, the link was posted, proving nothing was stolen. Uh, I've talked about it long before, Distinti. So obviously I didn't get it from him. So that was just a lie. Okay, so he says, it doesn't really matter. It's an interesting topic and I'm happy to cover it. You won't cover the topic. He dismisses it in his own comments. I mean, it's just so fucking stupid. All right, so enough BS. <laughs> so it's funny, Dino, how you talk about Ken Wheeler being a poster boy for the Dunning Craiger, yet are just totally blind to <clears throat> what's right in front of you when it comes to draft science and your quote, um, who brags about the, how awesome and smart guy they are. Well, again, I don't spend much time doing it. I'm, and I'm really not bragging about how smart I am. It, are, am I? As I've overtly stated, my merit comes from the fact that you all suck so fucking bad. You're incredibly low character, small minded, and really stupid. And that's what I'm pointing out. I'm meritorious only because you all suck so fucking bad. <laughs> okay? You're such horrible losers. I'm not a great winner. You're horrible losers. Alright. <clears throat> fucking idiots, that's who. I guess. You consider Gary a, a gigantic idiot then because he literally thinks he is the smartest man on the planet. Well, again, I'm, I'm obviously more honest and more integrity than any of you fucking liars. Okay, and we clearly see that the, the conventional physicists can't defend their rhetoric. You offer them $1,500, they still can't, they won't do it. What does that say? You think it really makes sense that they're, what, afraid of me? <laughs> what other conclusion can there be? I'm, if I'm such an idiot, I'm such easy meat, why don't they just take the money? Oh, that's right, because it's not going to be so fucking easy. All right. <clears throat> Gary's a giant... Uh, okay, well, anyway, smarter than Einstein. Well, again, Einstein wasn't all that fucking smart. He didn't think we'd make a nuclear bomb. All right? I mean, one year. Okay, less than one year after he said it was a preposterous idea to ever create a neutron chain reaction, a guy created a neutron chain reaction. So obviously Einstein wasn't Einstein about every subject. All right, now I've clearly pointed out how bent space is for sissies. It's so silly. It's childish. Einstein was a child, okay? He really wasn't an adult in any sense of the word. All right, and his theory is childish mush. Okay, smarter than Feynman. Well, Feynman was, uh, you couldn't get a more um, arrogant, full of himself butt shit. I mean, <laughs> I mean, frankly, he's both basically said to everyone on Earth, I'm a really smart guy. If I didn't think about it, you guys have no hope. So don't play that game. All right. Smarter than every physicist with actual accomplishments in the field. Well, again, we know that most of those Nobel Prizes didn't go to anybody very accomplished. So that's kind of horseshit. And they didn't accomplish anything but invent bullshit. Okay? They didn't make microwave ovens or anything. <laughs> so... That's all, again, more bullshit on your side. More hype and lies and horseshit about how all this science has done so much when we know they didn't invent shit. 
Einstein, you know, Edison types did the work, not Einstein types. Uh, everyone who has ever um, lived is just a moron compared to Gary. Well, that just happens to be true. I'm sorry, but yes, gravity was really easy to figure out. And then magnetism was really easy to figure out. And electricity is really easy to figure out. It's all really easy. And you all failed. So obviously, I mean, there isn't much to say. It's a few people really suck. Okay. And his immense intellect. And we're all going to bow down to his genius. I don't need you to bow down to it. I, I, the, the, the obviously what you won't do is concede it, okay, because you're so dishonest. That's the truth of it, right? You just, you're petty little haters. Your brains are just smaller than the tips of your penis, and your penises are micro penises. So you don't have much brain. All right, once he wins the Nobel Prize, and again, what do you get when you unify physics? Well, I guess you should get one of those prizes, right? So if I'm right, I'm right, asshole. It just turns out that way. And you're going to have to live with it. Sorry for you. Okay, and he can piss on our graves and so forth. No, I'm going to ask the world to piss on your graves. I'm going to ask every honest, nice person in the, in the world to every once a year at least go to Mecca, so to speak. Go to the graves of these lying sacks of shit troll pieces of garbage and take a dump right on your fucking skulls. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. We bury you all in one big fucking pit. And then everybody once a year just takes a big fat dump right on your shitty graves. Because you're garbage as human beings. You have, again, here you are overtly caught in your lies. Okay? And you're still defending the game you're playing. All right. He's, uh, that's actually his fantasy. Yes, it is. And I enjoy it very much. Um, <clears throat> you realize that, right? I don't know. Does Dino realize that 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 if he was in the same place that I was in, that he would sense? Hey, yeah, that would be kind of a fun thing to watch. <laughs> you know, you just I put video cameras, you know, in the outhouses. You know, just just yes, it'd be fun to watch. Um, anyway, A B science. Not sure what's happening. I got notifications from from you commenting, but I can't see any of them anywhere. <laughs> Oh, oh! You, you, they never heard of troll comments. Ah, oh, funny. Anyway, funny name. YouTube keeps deleting my comments for some reason. All I wanted to say was, oh, this one has... Oh, he took it out. He took out my real name. Okay, so he posted my last name in here, and AB Science didn't clean it up, which is just part of the disgusting tactics, right? So they can't play any kind of real manly game. They have to keep playing with my personal security, play with my address, play with my family, play with whatever they can, because they can't make a rational, sensible, defeating argument. They can't stab me with any kind of honest blade. All they can do is try to sneak up in the dark, you know, and try to stab me in the back. Because they're fucking gutless cowards. Pathetic cowards. Okay. All I wanted to say is that I will retract my statement about cur the curved screen if Gary can post a video. So the troll actually posts a whole bunch of videos. No problem. So it's, so it's been done. It was done by the other guy right to your face. <laughs> pretty, pretty much in your face on my comments. All right. And um, so you're done. All right. Your lie has been exposed as a lie. Um, should we now, should you now interrogate the Stinty and find out if he stole it from me? Is that going to be your next move? I mean, if you have any character, right? If you're really on an honest mission to protect the origin of an idea, well, now why don't you accuse the Stinty of stealing it from me? Show you have honesty. You know, that you have some sort of intellectual integrity. But you have no evidence he stole it from me, right? Just as you had no evidence that I stole it from him. But the fact is, I was there first, asshole, in video form. Anyway, <clears throat> from all his videos that I have seen, I never saw him advocate, let alone mention the curved screen until the Distinti video. So there you go again. So it's quite clear, okay, there's a whole bunch of them. So you lose. You're an idiot, a liar, and an asshole. You've proven it right in front of everybody, but you're not going to stop doing it, right? 
you're not going to learn on your lesson. So I can point that out to the judge that even when he was found out to be a liar, okay, and he was caught as a liar, a complete lie he told, uh, he still continues to lie. All right, so you're just adding to the, the, like I said, you're just proving the case that you have clear malicious intent. You don't care about the truth. You just care about trying to hurt me personally. And that's all you care about. Okay, you have no other fucking agenda. And you're proving it to the judge right now. All right. <clears throat> Uh, also, he often previews videos off camera before making his reaction video. So what evidence do you have for that? I play videos sometimes and every video where I do a re response, I will even point out whether I've seen the video or I haven't seen the video. In most cases, I often say I didn't hear, I didn't listen to this part. I'll say those exact words, asshole. So this is just more horse shit. Made up stories. You keep, you keep telling these made up stories. You have no evidence and you keep lying. That you you're keep implying that you have evidence and you don't. Okay, so his on-camera reactions mean nothing. Well, again, my reaction doesn't mean anything except in the context that two years earlier I was saying the same thing, asshole. So you lose. All right, I, I mean I could play that. I mean, there's a clip here that's pretty straightforward. I'm, <laughs> I don't even need to say anything, do I? I've just drawn it, okay? It's right there, drawn, okay? 2007, October 2017. So did Cynthia steal this idea from me? So you lose, asshole. You're proven a liar. Okay. Ah, okay, this is the one that has my name in it, which I'll have to do something with. Let's see, how can I do fix that? Uh, I have to create some sort of, some block, a block of some kind. Uh, such nonsense one shouldn't have to endure. Uh, well, I'll pause the video and I'll just, I'll copy the comments and then repaste them. Okay, that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, why should I have to go through this horse shit, right? This is just such bullshit that these assholes are allowed by YouTube to keep doing this, to make these cheap, shitty one-day accounts for the sole purpose of harassing people. And, and YouTube knows that's all they're there for. They know this is going on, and they don't give a fuck. I should be back. Um, Mostly. All right. Um, <clears throat> so he says here, uh, for the same reason I exist in any bad, I, just saying I would retract my comment if he posts any video of him advocating curved screen dated before the linked video. So it's been done. So the irony is it's done even better by this troll, right? So a guy named uh, DS something fan uh, posted it, but this guy did too. So I, it's just funny. The troll says it. So he says here, you don't have to retract anything. So you're giving really bad advice to another guy who's going to get sued, which is kind of funny. But okay, give the bad, give bad advice. Okay, don't do, don't you know, lie and then don't retract your lie when they've been proven lies. Which again just gives the judge more evidence that you just couldn't care less. You want to play with other people's reputation, and you don't understand that there's laws against doing that recklessly or maliciously. There's laws against it. Okay, it's not as if <laughs> XX applies the same rules of fairness that he demands from everyone else. So he doesn't have any evidence for this either. Okay, that I'm, uh, I that I somehow have expectation that I can type garbage comments in other people's videos and not get blocked. Have you proven I have that expectation? No, you're an idiot. Um, I actually want to thank you for um, pointing the Destiny video out to me. I may include it in the massive project to expose draft physics lies. So he's, you know, he's, he's, he's got a massive project going and he can't prove any of these things he's calling a lie and he hasn't proven one yet and he'll never will prove any of them. And again, I'm just telling you, you're going to have to explain to the judge how you can't keep saying that, okay, unless you have some evidence and you repeatedly fail and that should be an indication that maybe you're no good at this. 
uh, once and for all. <clears throat> I've created a Python subroutine that scrapes YouTube transcripts, which isn't a great idea, right? Because you know YouTube transcripts have an awful lot of errors in them, but regardless. So I'll try to find other instances where he mentions this. How brilliant is that? So he's they're celebrating the fact that one liar just proved the other liar to be a disgusting liar. And he's they're turning that into some reason why, hey, we should celebrate. Because we just proved ourselves to be liars. I mean, it can't make any sense. So here he lists a whole bunch of videos of me talking about bending the screen for the two slit experiment. Okay, I doubt that you'd see the same <clears throat> on-off pattern if you projected onto a curved surface anyway, since the effect, okay, is caused by differences in the wavelength from the two sources. So isn't that hilarious? It's about the path differences, you dumb fuck. And the equidistance is an equidistance from a point between the two point sources. That's where you measure the equidistant curve from, you idiot. And obviously the two sources would have different path lengths, idiot. And that's where they can have a wavelength difference in their path length, idiot. I have to illustrate, you could do the whole experiment with a piece of string. <laughs> okay, it's, it's completely not complicated. Um, anyway, <clears throat> at least according to the official explanation. So here it's just that they're sitting here talking about the official explanation, which I've already pr proven to be just absolute nonsense. Gibberish. Baby talk. Um, so that's something someone could test. You don't need to test it. Your math won't work, asshole. My math does. Okay, the, the surfaces are the point sources, retard. How many times do I have to say it? The surfaces are always the point sources. Always. Always. In any math that will actually get the right answer, the point source will be the surface. Shit for brain. Okay, I know uh, Gary never will because deep down he knows he's wrong. So it's another big mistake on your part. Oh, pathetic. It started out as a desperate attempt to impress his disappointed father. Some more nonsense. That's, of course, not how it started. Uh, what I wanted, what I, you know, I, did, I would like the idea that this would have actually, um, you know, gained me some credibility, and that would have been nice, because my father was an engineer, and he kind of didn't think I had much of that in me, and it would have been, it just would have felt really good, okay, to please him. But, you know, too late. So, yeah, we missed out on that because you're all slow learners. That's just the truth. You're really slow learners. Okay, but he um, pissed away, pissed away, so passed away. So now it's about his cultish following. So, again, you, everybody can see how much I couldn't give a fuck about the people who are following or supportive or anything. I'm all about the argument. And I'm all about contrasting the two arguments. And they're all about never contrasting the two arguments. They will never paraphrase anything I say correctly. They'll never argue what I actually say or what I actually argue. They'll go back 10 years or they'll do this or do that. They'll do anything they can to evade what is the current and best argument. They'll go out and try to find the worst and the weakest. They prove it over and over again. They haven't answered a single one of my questions. I ask questions in every fucking video. They don't answer a single fucking one. Why has the experiment, uh, the Eddington experiment, never been done from space when it's cheap and simple from space? Why? One of the most important experiments in the history of physics. And it's never been repeated with better technology. Why? What's your reasonable explanation for that failure? All right, <clears throat> and they don't need evidence. So I'm, of course, the one arguing for the evidence repeatedly. They're the ones who claim they've proven things, but they never did the experiment. The detector experiments, for example. Light plus light equals dark. That kind of crap. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is funny name again. Uh... 
Uh, I would ask that we avoid using real-world references, including full real names. Oh, the troll is telling the troll how to be a troll now. Isn't that cute? So the liar who didn't retract his lie, okay, is now, you know, criticizing the other troll who has to drop docs because he's so lame. He has no other weapon but to drop docs and to talk about my dead father. All right. <clears throat> Since he asked people not to use it, it just diverts the conversation needlessly. Well, it just shows that you don't have any integrity, that you're all scum. <laughs> yeah, it shows you to be scum. Okay. Um, funny name. Actually, he uses his real name. So this is, again, a lie. Obviously, I moved... And my real name became important, okay? And it became important that other people are now involved in all of that kind of crap. But I never gratuitously used my own name. It's just a lie to say I ever did. It's a lie to say I ever wanted my real name to be used anywhere. It's just a fucking lie. I clearly would like to preserve my security. I've clearly stated I would like to do that. And you're clearly maliciously violating that request. You clearly know I've requested that my name not be used. You're clearly doing it, okay? So you're clearly malicious in your efforts. Again, you're just proving it to the judge. When the judge asks, why did you use his name in that comment? What was the purpose? You're going to have to explain that the purpose was to um, hurt his security, to, to cause him some sort of difficulty or trouble, to threaten him. Because that's all you have. You're just a terrorist, you fucking piece of shit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Full all over his amendum channel. So that's just a lie. Okay. <laughs> if he doesn't want uh, people using his real name, then why does he use his real name? So that's just a lie. Plain. Another plain lie. Okay. My name has come up. It's not my desire. And in the past, I clearly discouraged anybody using my real name. Um, but I didn't panic about it because there wasn't other people living in my house. So it didn't matter. But it matters now. And you don't care about those other people. You wish to threaten them. You're just making that clear. Okay. All right. It took me less than 30 minutes yesterday to find a video on YouTube where a professional derives the equations for the single and double slit pattern. So again, this is just such pet bullshit. They're not going to show you. Are you going to show me this evidence? Are you going to show me this professor deriving it correctly? And are you going to show how he... Is, is he going to draw you two waves? Or is he going to explain how two waves create the pattern? Because two waves can't do it, retard. It's impossible for two waves to create the pattern in a double slit. It's impossible, asshole. Okay. Um, he explains how each single slit creates an envelope pattern... So each single slit does. Well, that's wrong too, so you're pretty stupid there. The single impediment creates the envelope, idiot. The two interior slits create the envelope. The two exterior slits create the little bars. And again, how does he, where, where does he put his waves? Does he use four waves? Four point sources? Shit for brain? Okay. Uh, the envelope pattern, which encloses and overlaps the double slit pattern. He does the wave mechanics mathematical derivation. So there is no wave mechanic mathematical derivation. Okay, so let's, let's just understand. All the mathematics is about vectors and angles. There's no waves in any of the mathematics. There's no waves at all. There's straight vectors. Okay, <laughs> he does use... Uh, the experiment to show the real pattern from a laser matching the predicted maxima and minima. Well, I'm sure he doesn't. So I'm sure <laughs> if he's if he's doing what you say, which I can't say he is, maybe he's using the surfaces as the point sources and you're just too stupid to figure that out, dumbass. Okay, he looks like a nice guy and I don't want to expose him to draft science yelling. So against it's yelling to um, critique somebody else's... Um, assertions um, but regardless so again cowards they're they're afraid that I will play the video and point out where that's stupid or that's wrong isn't that clearly what he's saying I mean it's just so cowardly 
oh, I, f I saw it done right, but I can't show you it being done right because, uh, you know, it'll be too rough on the poor guy who made the video because, uh, you know, Draft Science will make a response video and use all kinds of special secret weapons to hurt him. What, what do you think I'm going to do? You think I'm going to dox him? You think I'm going to talk about his wife? Huh? What do you really think is going to happen, loser? Not any of the shit you're pulling. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Young, so I will not post this channel. So again, this we have an imaginary um, done well video of the two slit experiment and they're too cowardly to post it. Okay. it's. I mean, it's just so bad, right? I mean, this is just so pathetic. How much do I have to pay you? Why don't you ask the guy who made the video how much he, he, would, he would require to be paid to allow me, okay, to critique his video. Uh, it's just hilarious. It's a very basic production. Well, obviously, I don't care about how basic a production is, right? When did I ever say uh, graphics and, uh, and bells and whistles were worth anything? I'm not the one who feeds on that shit, asshole. You are. You're the suckers who fall for the... Oh, it's an animation. You're, you're the shitheads who fall for that crap. Okay. Simple camera focused on whiteboard while he lectures to his class. Probably, what, at, at Unity College or something? Some kind of Christian college or something. Uh, and one time the camera rolled over sideways, so you have to tilt your head sideways to read the whiteboard. Ha, ha, ha. The classroom looks like, well, maybe somebody else can find that link then, right? Somebody else might remember that video where the camera falls over. Um, basic, just a bunch of cheap <coughs> chairs and tables. Again, what, what does this have to do with anything? Where, where have I ever indicated I am at all impressed by fancy production values? Okay, maybe a high school community college, a high school or community college. Um, but he does all the <coughs> math and a host of subjects and Maxwell to electrical engineering, relativity, and Schrodinger. Right, and, and you're afraid to post the quality of his work. You're afraid to have it scrutinized. You're just such cowards. All right, funny name. I would imagine that most people couldn't really give a damn about what draft science yells about. So this is AB science. Okay, so this is AB science. I would imagine that most people couldn't really give a damn about what draft science yells about. So again, it's all yelling, right? So yes, yeah, sometimes they get really angry because people are lying. Okay, and lying is really troublesome. So you don't understand that because you don't have trolls lying about you. But maybe someday the trolls will start lying about, you know, the underage girl you molested or some other kind of crap. And, you know, maybe they'll be telling the truth and you'll feel like it's a lie. But maybe you'll feel some of the pressure then. And then maybe you'll understand. But maybe not. Maybe you're too stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, about his little corner of the internet. So again, this is just about um, you know playing this game that okay because you're connected to a bunch of other people. It's the only pe reason why your videos have any views at all is because of Baldy Cats and some of these other people that have a lot of views. And and you know that you know that your videos wouldn't have any views if it wasn't for the connections you have, and that's it. I've had to do it all on my own. No network. Nobody boosts me, right? I'm the most hated person on YouTube. Nobody boosts my channel. Nobody with any, you know, nobody mo with more than 100 subscribers, okay, <laughs> um, has anything good to say about me. So, you know, fuck you. Uh, you know, I'm going to bury you in the end, asshole. All right, you're just going to look like another dumb turd who had every opportunity to just be a stand-up physicist, to be a stand-up intellectual, and to accept that maybe Gary's making some goddamn good points, and maybe you should take some notice of maybe your physics really is as fucked up as Ben Franklin's plus and minus. Maybe that wasn't the only catastrophic mistake made in physics in the last 150 years. You know, maybe you made a few more really big mistakes. But you're too arrogant to even consider the possibility. All right. I just find it entertaining. So this is more of the troll kind of shill attitude. This is all about being entertaining. And this is all bullshit. It isn't about anything meaningful. No, it's only about the fucking goddamn truth. And the fact is you're selling a religion, asshole. And I'm demonstrating it's a religion. 
I'm demonstrating its unevidenced fairy stories. Okay, how quickly he becomes a parody of himself, which I don't even know what the fuck that could possibly mean. But whatever, I do, I do somehow have personality, unlike you people. <laughs> yeah, I just happen to have some of that personality thing. All right. Um, <clears throat> I may still do, so he's, so he's always, I may still consider finishing or maybe doing, or maybe, uh, no, he'll never do anything. Because he can't do it to any kind of uh, level that'll survive my critique. I will show it to be bullshit. If he ever does a physics video on anything that has anything to do with elemental physics and the elemental conclusions of physics, I will destroy it. Because it's all crap. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, I might still do a thing on Young's double slit experiment. It's hilarious that he's still calling it Young's double slit experiment. I've pointed out how Young was a clueless audiophile wavical etherist okay he had no clue what the real pattern was he, he was using sunlight and a and a box a big giant box with holes in it i mean we can't even know exactly what his experiment was but that's what they've deduced is it was basically a four foot box that he had holes in okay <laughs> And and you say that, oh, so we, yes, he deserves to have the experiment named after him. Even though Newton did the two interior slits and did the two exterior slits, you know, the single impediment. He had already deduced this whole thing happening. Newton, we don't need Young. Young added no value, zero value to the subject. And yet you've fallen into the religious talk. You know, you're just doing the Moses thing here. Oh, if it wasn't for Moses, where would we be? You know, it's just such a pile of shit. So, I mean, I've demonstrated there is... Young's analysis is juvenile. It can't possibly be created, the pattern, by two waves interfering. It's not a possible solution. It's a pile of shit. Young's analysis, Young's drawings are shit. They have nothing to do with what light does. You're a dupe and a fool. You're ignorant on the subject. <laughs> but it's very low priority. So again, I, I pointed out it's there's not a single video that can survive scrutiny on the internet on the subject of the double slit. Not a single one done well. Not a single one. And here he's just running away from it. Why? Why wouldn't you take advantage? I'll pay you to make the video. You'll have me certainly referencing it, so you'll get some views for that alone. It'll be kind of a controversy, and people are going to watch because of the drama. It's going to be very dramatic, you know, where you're going to prove that it is waves. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of interest, so you're going to get some views out of it, no doubt. You're going to get paid to publish the video, and on top of that, it'll be the only video on YouTube that's actually correct. So everybody who goes to... You know, all the other sources, all the Al Kahari videos and all the Shakir and all the MIT videos and all of the Stanford videos, they're all fail by comparison to your pristine, beautiful piece of work. And here he is saying, I, yeah, I'm just not terribly interested. <laughs> so who is that credible, people? Is that as credible as... Well, you know, we never really, you know, I mean, space technology, yeah, it's 400 times better resolution in space, but why would we want to do the Eddington experiment with 400 times better resolution? I mean, it's not like it's a tricky experiment. You need 400 times. None of that could be an advantage in any way. 400 times better seeing power? Nah, you don't need any of that. That's superfluous. We already have a great... 1919 experiment. Why do we need anything better than that? You know, an experiment done in the rain on Earth and during an eclipse that wasn't, you know, 12 noon. Why do we need anything better than that? Why do we need better than something better than where the guy actually writes in his journal, I wouldn't stake my life on these results? I mean, why would you need an experiment better than one where the guy says, I wouldn't stake my life on the results? I mean, doesn't, don't experimental physics just love experiments that are that flawed? 
I mean, isn't a perfect flaw like that what makes an experiment really brilliant is when the guy doing the experiment says, I wouldn't stake my life on the results? Yeah, I mean, that's so perfect. Why would you want to do it from space with 400 times better resolution? Shit, that would be <laughs> retarded. <laughs> I mean, you are mockable in your, in your insincerity. Ugh, disgustingly. I mean, he's just a disgusting liar. I couldn't be bothered. You know, it doesn't really, not a priority, it's a low priority proving anything. We don't need to prove anything. We've already, we've, they've already suckered all of you people, so that's their whole attitude. What do we, why do we need to prove anything? You bought all our lies, you bought our fables, you bought all our, our, our mystical notions. We, you know, we shook our little, you know, dead whatevers in our little, you know, gourds <laughs> you know we shook our little things and you know we had little smoking urns and you fell for it all you fucking dupes anyway uh my main thing is to focus on topics where i teach by contrast so isn't it amazing i'm giving you as clear a contrast as there could be wave particle i'm saying i'm the best particle guy there is okay <laughs> so I'll show you the contrast to how simple a particle's explanation is and how wacky your little wavy theories are. Okay, and I'll certainly add some, some commentary about the fact that your wave theory is fucking silly. You know, that the photon with the 2,000, uh, you know, <laughs> with the 2,000 atom polarization, the gigantic polarization, can't really bounce off of an electron that's a one a million times smaller. Okay, anyway, uh, take a bad idea and see what I, <clears throat> we can, let's see, and see what we can, something interesting from it. If we can something interesting from, well, that's not written right, I'm pretty sure. Um, so this is just more bullshit. You know, this is, you know, his videos aren't about any of that anyway. His videos are boring and obtuse, and they don't get to anything in any kind of direct way. And um, I will not predict much success until you... I mean, wasting all of that nuclear physics to debunk flat Earth is retarded. Okay, it really doesn't take that much to debunk flat Earth. All you have to say is, do you really believe millions of people have conspired to hide the fact that the Earth is flat and they faked a bunch of satellite data and you know, all of this stuff? Do you really think that's true, you retard? God, you're pathetically stupid if you think that's possible. All right, anyway. Um, with that in mind, there are far more interesting topics to cover. So you're not, you can't even deal with the fact that the, you know, the double slit experiment isn't an infinite pattern, <laughs> you know, uh, like the aforementioned mechanical explanations for gravity. And again, you will fail, okay, to be honest to that subject. You will cheat the subject dramatically, I predict, okay? You will not give the arguments fair hearing. You will paraphrase and pervert into nothing. You'll just cheat okay it'll be a very shallow victory okay like all woo peddlers now you're the woo peddler so there's just no doubt about it okay bent space virtual photons uh spin that isn't really spin <laughs> okay uh, you have no clue what polarization is um you have no clue what a magnet is <laughs> okay yeah um i mean you can just go down the list right and then you get to dark matter quasi particles you are so full of wooey shit heisenberg uh singularities superposition entanglement and you're saying somebody else is talking woo oh i mean god damn how does how do you how do you get a how does your brain allow you to be such a fucking hypocrite Amazing. Like all white woo peddlers, draft science completely misses the fact that students are taught the math. So again, this isn't just about math, okay? Math is a tool. Math is a language. And it's a language that's very simplistic and crude. And that means it can do stupid things like 
double infinity. It can do things that are just stupid. <laughs> okay, so it has to be controlled and well controlled. All right, there aren't infinite gravity wells, dumbass. There's not an infinite amount of force, dumbass. Okay, and then uh, told to go and perform the experiments to convince themselves that it uh, adds up. Well, let's go ahead. Do the two, do the two, do the radar experiment and convince yourself that jamming isn't the simple answer to the problem. Jamming doesn't perfectly explain why there's a pattern. When it does perfectly explain it. So go ahead and lie some more. <laughs> you know. Okay, if you don't perform Young's double slit experiment, so again, it's not Young's double slit experiment. If you think it's two waves interfering with each other, you're really way behind, okay? You're like 30 or 40 years behind, okay? Because it's been known for well over 30 or 40 years that the double slit experiment is a lot more complicated than Young thought. Young was kind of ignorant, all right? And it's just a fact. And his analysis was pathetically superficial. And it doesn't get to the real pattern at all. And it's just a fact. Okay, as an undergraduate in the UK, your degree is worthless as it is a requirement that your degree be, in, be accredited by the Institute of Physics. And again, what does it matter? If the Institute of Physics thinks there's real evidence for entanglement, the Institute of Physics is really stupid because there isn't any good evidence. You, you haven't proven any of the claims you've made. You haven't claimed any of your extra particles to be anything real. Okay, you've just announced it. We did it. We named it a muon. We named it. We And we said it decays. Like it radioactively decays. When, of course, no, it doesn't. It doesn't radioactively decay. It doesn't do any of that thing. It doesn't, it's not a particle that splits into two particles. It's not anything like that. And you know it. All it does is lose velocity and terminate. It ceases to be uh, an energetic particle that is a connected pile of energy and matter. It ceases to be a piece of matter being pushed by force. Anyway, so just really bad. Bad on you, uh, AB Science. You really are, uh, you're really just showing, you're demonstrating what I'm claiming from the beginning, that none of you people have any character. You're so fucking dishonest. I've, I've made simple assertions. I've made simple requests. Post me a link. If you're not going to make the double slit video, then show me the link that's right. If you're not going to make a video on, on particle gravity, then show me the good analysis, the fair, the fair cop analysis. You're going to show me the Feynman clip? Well, it's like rain, you see. When you're running in the rain, more rain hits you in the face, and so therefore it can't work. Because there's no possible way to explain how you could overcome that. It's not possible. When, did he think about it for five minutes? No. Right. The best you can do is silly God of the gaps. Your whole fucking physics is just full of God of the gaps bullshit answers. No explanation for where the energy comes from for gravity. No explanation for where the energy comes from for magnetism. Pathetic. You don't even care about conservation of energy. Because you don't have any in your theory. Except frequency. All of a sudden frequency is energy. <laughs> Too stupid. All right, well, anyway, we've shown them to be what they are. And, um, you know, the trolls are worse, okay, than AB science or conspiracy cats, but not much, not much worse because they'll go just that low. Um, they're just that desperate. They'll keep claiming I've done something wrong, right, when all I ask them to do is answer some questions. And instead of answering the questions, they just keep insulting my intelligence. Isn't that all that took place here? I'm wrong because he said so. He didn't show me so. <sighs> Even though I begged him to. And I offered to pay him to show me how I'm wrong. I'm offering to pay him to do it. And he won't do it. They're so dishonest.
God. People suck. I mean, I pointed that out to you, but that's what you really learn when you start doing physics. You learn people suck. And smart people, you know, it's sad to say, they can suck even worse than the dumbasses. Anyway, till the next time and such. I think that's all. Uh, yeah, I just I hate this place. God, I just so wish the aliens would come here and just drool acid on all you fuckers. <laughs>